matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Wilbur, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, the doctor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. City. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big kick. 
kick land. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big punch lands from the gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook. This could get interesting. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, right to the mount. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice leg. Kick. Nice jab by Choi. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, missed on that one. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Choi. There's no tell on that leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. It's such a fast leg kick. Choi shot there is blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, his opponent's got to get more action here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Oh. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Five minutes in the books. He might get a finish here. Checks the light kick. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Big head kick lands. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, good kicks there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, a huge block there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, nice jab. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. And there comes the separation now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And everything's landing with so much power. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration. Oh, that's the fight the score. How's his opponent's this? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nicely done there to keep oh, oh, would oh. you look at this? An Illuminari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Oh, nice. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Choice has got full mount now. Back mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Big overhand right. Very tricky. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great fight. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big pause for Brooks Lance. Now he gets back to range.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Powerful leg kick lands. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? I mean, he's cutting it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but he's oh, oh, hard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Big kick lands. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice strike landed there by Choi. Continues to work the body here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, knee to the head. So once again, he lands another punch and making use of his decided edge and reach in this matchup. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Nice take down there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. And they both stand up. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He got him bad! <laughs> oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Huge block there. Good punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish off because he's got to be very fast. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half. Working on a guillotine.
Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got him. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Hu And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight.